When you leave port to sail to a new destination, even though it's not a long distance, you feel the excitement creeping up your veins. You clear the boat, check provisions, study charts and weather and decide on a course to sail. It's an awesome feeling and it never gets off. The routine you follow and then pull anchor and set sails. In our case it wasn't just zipping over to the next bay, we wanted to cross the Sea of Cortez. Woohoo! Sounds dramatic, but it's only about 130 nautical months. So an easy overnight of us. But you never know what will happen. The wind from the south and our destination to the southeast we had to stick as close as possible to the wind. Probably even tacking, yikes. We were healing big time, partly with the tow rail on the water. And yep, definitely missed the right time to reef, again. We changed sails but stick to our course. And yes, we needed to tag to make more south. But with the wind easing for the night, we sailed peacefully into another beautiful sunrise. We arrived in a beautiful bay called Caleta Amaga close to San Carlos and Guaymas. After our arrival, we wanted to go ashore as fast as possible. We needed some land under our feet. And this was definitely the right spot to go for a hike. In complete loneliness we hiked on top of the closest mountain to enjoy the stunning view. We were impressed by the huge diversity and green nature. You can think what you want. This was one of the greenest spots in Mexico so far. And a crazy looking spider here and there. Birds are absolutely admirable to have these view all day long for themselves. home, but without any propane left, we decided to have a spontaneous bonfire. Let's do a nice bonfire! I think it will be really big. Bird baby! Fresh ingredients taste so much better cooked on a fire. It's the special taste and the atmosphere which adds up to a beautiful night. The 
that's so nice. I can't believe it. Potatoes over there. Some fish later. Yummy. We enjoyed these nights to the fullest, though we knew Zero would be dry again a couple days later. Cheers, honey. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Ha. This is so awesome here. Made another fire, day number two. And today we had fresh fish. I just speared some fish today. And we are baking bread. We had some potatoes and broccoli. For sure we have some port wine. Mm. What an awesome place. There's plenty more firewood here. And there's nobody else around. Yeah, it works great. Who needs propane, huh? Nobody. <laughs> hey, Sleepy. Over there where all the masts are, that's the boat yard. So we just get across the bay. We sailed into Wyomis just yesterday. Came down, we were pretty lucky to get some westerly winds. That was really nice. It's summer now, the bay has a little more water. It is kind of shallow here in the Wyomis Bay, but we are anchoring in uh, 12 to 13 feet right now. And I think the rest of the bay is mostly 15, 16 feet. Uh, if I remember right, it's getting a little shallow over there, close to the um, boat yard. And there are some reefs left and right from the travel lift dock. So you got to be careful with that. I'm uh, kind of curious how many people are still there from, I know from the last time. This was in 2014, 2015, so it's quite a few years back. But... We will know in a few moments. After almost three years in the water, Zero needed definitely some work. So, let the work begin. It's getting shallow. You can actually still read Broken Rudder 16. We started to build our camp and were motivated to begin with the work. Especially the hull needed a lot of attention. And we had no idea how much work was actually ahead of us. But this is another story to tell. All out time, baby. Work, dusty places, no more swimming in the morning.
Where did you get the ice cream from? The ocean. I want some too.